This is your News Now Sports. Good evening, everyone. Tyler Segerman here with you. In each of the last three seasons, Lima Senior has finished with a piece of the track title. However, only once in that span has it been outright. Spartans could change that this evening with a win over Toledo St. John's. The Lima Senior shared last year's championship with the lead by nine in the second quarter when Jerion Mayo utilizes the fingers. His transition bucket turns this game into a double-digit affair, and there would be no breaks to put on from the Spartans. Brent Moss with a tip in. Then it's Khalil Luster grabbing the loose ball, and he'll drop in two more to make the score 29-6. It wouldn't get any closer. Cam Miles going up strong. Hoop and the harm for the senior. Lima senior runs away with a 67-42 victory. On the south side of town, Shawnee continues their homestand, welcoming in fifth-ranked Wayne Trace out of Division Three. Raiders have won 13 straight, but they find themselves trailing by five in the first quarter. Brady Wheeler not helping that cause. High step in his way past everyone. A dozen points for the senior on senior night. Wayne Trace needs a timeout. The visitors would settle in, and it started with defense. Brooks Lockhoff sending this shot away. Offensively, he would lead off scores with 22, but back to the action. Kyle Stoller looking to capitalize on the other end, and he does using glass. Later, the aforementioned sophomore showing his touch. Lockoff bearing a triple try from the quarter to pull Wayne Trace within two. Quarter winding down, Indians in transition, and Nick Passion cleaning up with the putback. Shawnee goes on to win 61-55. Jefferson and Elida getting together for their final non-conference game of the season. Both teams looking to get back in the win column. Third quarter, Colin Bailey kicks out to Andrew Miller, who pours the three ball through. We're tied at 40s per side. Elida needs a timeout. Out of the stoppage, Jackson Kovalt hangs and hits, plus the foul. The Bulldogs are back in the lead, and they go on a little run. Now it's David Escorn driving and floating one home. Elida's up by five, but in the fourth, Bailey canning a tray, and Jefferson wins in overtime, 74-65.